Welcome to the channel, Gaming Army. This video finds Army us in our Wolfhound. It's the Wolfhound Renner. And I am reviewing this hero mech as well as other hero mechs as part of PGI's Beach Party event. This event is underway as of the time of the posting of this video, and it's slated to run through August 4th, 2022. Now, among the loot to be earned, there is an option for you to choose a free hero mech. This opportunity should not be taken lightly, so I'm going to review as many hero mechs as possible to hopefully help you with the choice process. Now, in this footage, we are playing a domination match on Caustic Valley, and for the record, I have made some tweaks and upgrades to my particular build in the Grinner. I am running one large laser in the right arm, four medium lasers spread out across the torsos, left, right, and center, as well as having ECM and a top speed of around 125 kph. Now, in my opinion, if you do not have a Grinner, this is one of the mechs in the light family that I would categorize as a must-have light mech. Because there is so much customization that you can do to a mech, for the purposes of all these comparisons, I'm gonna start our discussion at the baseline of the stock oh, mech, the That's stock it. loadout. So your stock loadout on the Wolfhound Grinner is a single ER large laser in the right arm. Still have your four medium lasers spread across the left, right, and center torsos, and of course ECM, but it only has a top speed of 97 kph, which is still fairly respectable. Another thing to pay attention to on this particular acquired. chassis and why I like Wolfhounds so much is it comes with 238 armor plates. So to put that in perspective, that puts it equal in stock armor plates to a Panther, and it's actually ahead of the Urban Mech. However, those two mechs do get a few more armor quirks than what is available for the Wolfhound. So you do want to take a look at your armor quirks for the mech. You do get some. They're not as beefy as the other two Target that I just spotted. mentioned, but it does acquired. add to survivability. There's also a really nice overheat quirk. Target spotted. So you take 20% less damage if you go overheat. So for those of you who New like target. the override okay. option, this mech actually lends itself to doing that quite nicely. And then, of course, being a hero mech, there's the added bonus of a 30% C-Bill boost to all of your C-Bill earnings. So jumping back into Target this match, destroyed. we are quickly snowballing our way to victory. It New is currently 6 nothing. But the takeaway here is hopefully on this footage you can see just how versatile and mobile Target this spotted. mech truly is. I can get around the battlefield engaging, disengaging, and re-engaging from multiple angles because I have the speed to do it. The ECM New keeps me protected acquired. and keeps the enemy guessing. Target and spotted. I've got enough armor to engage activated. when necessary. Now here I'm backing acquired. off the kit box a little bit just because I've done what I needed to do and that was to turn him around, have him come after me, giving his backup to my teammates. Meanwhile, I have bigger fish to fry. I'm going to reposition because I want to take out the course air because I know we have some missiles on our team and that AMS must go. This is a very capable mech and it can do the job quite nicely. And as we're Focusing down the Corsair, the rest of my Target teammates are destroyed. mopping up the rest of the enemy team, and we finish this match with two kills, 515 damage done. Jumping into our next match, I want to set the stage for you real quick. We are playing Skirmish. This is taking place on Polar Highlands. I just want to get that out of the way before we continue our discussion about the Wolfhound Grinner. Now, my build does not reflect 
everything New that this mech can bring to the table. Hopefully, I'm starting to hammer home the points that this is a very New capable, target. versatile Acquired. mech with online. tons of potential. And the first bit of potential is the fact that this mech comes with ECM. And since it Acquired. comes with ECM, that means it is ripe for stealth armor. I personally am not running stealth armor, acquired. but this mech can take it if you want to go for a super sneaky, stealthy well, approach. This mech can yes, handle that. Online. Another thing to take a look at is your weapons options. There's lots of things that you can do with the five laser hard points that you're given. And that can be configured based on your individual play style. So this mech doesn't care whether you like short, long, or medium ranges. It's got something for everyone. So if somebody's looking to play a longer game, you could leverage range with this by switching over acquired. to ER lasers, maybe get two or three into this mech, and be more of a standoff weapons platform. Likewise, acquired. if you want to Air go with a line. medium build approach, and you wanted something with a little acquired. more oomph than just five medium lasers, you could look to something like a snub nose PPC for a little extra Target damage spotted. output. And by all means, if you wanted to go short range, you can do that. In fact, one of the most popular build styles that I see on the battlefield for this mech is pilots running by medium pulse lasers. That dishes out quite a bit of damage at close range. So hopefully you can see that all of this stacks up to make this a very versatile option and hopefully you decide to pick one up if you don't have one already because this mech can fill multiple roles a spotter a harasser a skirmisher and even dare i say a brawler now i would use that last one mid to late game um, just because you're not gonna have the tonnage and armor to go toe to toe right out of the gate but you can get around the battlefield quite quickly in this and get into various firing positions to take advantage of opportunities on enemy mechs that are damaged or unaware of your presence. So, yeah, I would say Brawler would work just as well. Now, jumping back into this match, as you can see, as we've been talking, that's exactly what I've been doing, is motoring around the map into various positions, looking for targets of opportunity. And while I'm spotting for my team, I'm also making sure that I'm dishing out my 29 damage over and over and over again on the enemy and hopefully it's an unsuspecting enemy. You know how I love those back shots. Target but acquired. it's again, shoot and reposition. Shoot and reposition. And over time, that is going to really frustrate the enemy team. That's exactly what this mech can bring to the table. So I've managed to get up a UAV marking the enemy position for the rest of my teammates and now I'm going into that harassment acquired. mode because I have the back of the dire wolf and I want to get a couple of good alpha strikes on him as well and he's got a nice orange rear CT at this point I think now he's getting the message that he better not uh, leave his back unattended because I will happily take his mech. So pushing up into the high ground, I want to scout out and see. I know there's more than one enemy New mech here. Acquired. I just got to get eyes on them. So we'll do some maneuvering, put our ECM to work, and sure enough, we managed to find target more acquired. enemy targets to shoot. The Stormcrow is definitely one that I want to focus on, get those missiles off the board, but there's a quick draw there as well. Now I want to get a shot or two off on him. I just need acquired. to be aware I would rather go head-to-head -head with the Storm Crow. I think he's a little more squishier. Quick draws are a little bit tanky, and I'm not sure if I want to face him uh, straight on. And there's our friend the Direwolf again. I'm sure he's happy to see me. 
and we're just going to do some bobbing and weaving through the buildings. And here we find an enemy Fafnir as well, and that left torso looks like it's ready to pop. So let's help him with that, take that left torso. There goes half his firepower, easing up some of the pressure for my teammate. I want to stay on him. He's going around. His mech is half down already. So let's see if we can get some more work done on him. His right torso is open. A couple more shots. We should be able to take the rest of his weapons. And there it is. Now I'm going to reposition again. He's a stick. I'm not really interested in him at this point. Maybe more of as an opportunity. But there's the one I'm really interested in. The dire wolf we started working on. And I just want to finish off that rear CT for him which he gladly gives target us. Acquired. For lack of targets, we're switching back to our wounded Fafnir. We'll see if we can Critical finish him damage. off. And there's the Stormcrow. I neglect to keep eyes on him. He's kind of focusing us, but that's okay. I have a teammate up on the high ground. So we're ping-ponging him back and forth between the two of us, taking turns on which one he's going to focus. There's a bunch of his weapon systems offline. I'll go ahead and be the focus and let my teammate get the kill. We wind up with two kills, 597 damage done, as well as eight components destroyed.